So today we're meeting Maddie. She's a manufacturing engineer. And guess what her job is? She works with robots. That's right. I don't even need to explain anything more because we're about to play with some robots. So come on, let's go meet Maddie. If I can find her. Hey, you looking for me? Hey, what's going on? So I am excited to play with some robots and do some fun yeah. stuff. So we're we gotta go get gowning first and then we can go into the clean room. You lead the way, right. I'll follow you. There's kind of a clean side and a dirty side. We want our clean booties to only touch the clean side of the floor. Yeah, there you go. I'm suited. All right, let's get in. We're gonna go over and look at the robots. This is crazy. Yeah, this is where we make balloon catheters. It's cool to like see how it like operates and moves around. Like you see them in movies, but you ne I've never really seen like robot arms in real life. Yeah, and they definitely can't run without their control system. So they can't, they can't leave the system. Yeah, there's no Terminator type. No, stuff. no, no. We always need somebody to run robots. So while automation comes, it is not stealing the jobs. You will just need to run the robots rather than do what the robots are doing. So what exactly are they doing right now? So these two robots, they pick up clips and they place them on the coil. So the carrier tube or the white part that's in the plate, that's a protective. And then that third robot is gonna pull a vacuum on it, allows the medical device, the balloon catheter, to be shipped to the doctor to different distribution centers. This is the last check of the like structure of the device before it leaves and goes into a doctor's hands. What exactly is it that a manufacturing engineer does? So in my case, a manufacturing engineer kind of owns a process from the equipment standpoint. So if the machine is down and the technicians can't get it up, you come to the floor and help go through that uh, problem solving roadmap and ask the questions to kind of get it on the right track to get it back up. Has been working with robots been something that you've always wanted to do like as a kid? Absolutely not. I had no interest in robots or any of this stuff when I was a kid. Yeah. It's okay to not know what you want to do. So I knew that I, didn't necessarily like math and science, but that I was good at it. I guess I've always been very curious and wanting to ask questions and kind of always wanted to have a job that was fun. What kind of gets you up every day motivated to come and do your job? I think just knowing that you're impacting somebody's life. Like yeah. oftentimes in the floor to help motivate people, you'll hear the production supervisors talk about, what if your grandma got this device? Is this something that you would want to have in a family member? Like realizing that we are impacting people's lives. Right, because you never know. You might later on end up changing somebody's life, you know, like Maddie. It was really cool to see just how these robots can help the process, but also help change people's lives. Yeah. So appreciate you. Thanks for taking the time. Thanks for coming out to look at it. Yeah.